All right, let's fire this thing up. I want to go ahead and get rid of this 40 grit paper in order to switch things out. I'm going to be putting on some 80 grit so that I can continue the grinding process of this molded in non-skid. Well, hey, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back in the boat shop with us. What I'm sitting in is our 1983 25-foot pursuit project boat. Just a couple of episodes back, we started the process of getting this boat ready for a do-it-yourself paint job. We removed the bow pulpit from the craft, we took off the bow rail, we took off the molded fiberglass hard top, the windshield, all kinds of stuff, in order to start the process of fixing some of the damaged areas. We had some spider cracking issues, and we showed you how to deal with some spider cracking issues. Well, today on the program, we're going to get even more into that topic. We're also going to talk about molded non-skids, all right? I had some very aggressive molded in non-skid that came original from the factory, Pursuit, okay, back in 1983, and it worked very effectively. However, it was so sharp, it was so pointy that I would have to use some type of a rag or padding in order to kneel on it. Now, I've got little kids, and you get out on the water, and, and somebody falls. Well, the last thing I want is one of my kids to have the hide ripped off of them because of this non-skid. Okay, we want non-skid, we want traction, but I'm thinking maybe we could go a little different route. I want to grind it all off. I want to put in some fairing compound, sand everything, and then paint it. But this time, the non-skid that I'm going to go with is going to work but it's going to be friendly. I'm going to show you how to suspend it in paint. We're going to roll it out. Now, you might have a molded pattern of non-skid where a sinker is hit it, or maybe you've got a hole where, where a seat used to be, or, or some delamination. Well, today we're going to show you how to repair the patterned non-skid. Very, very incredible stuff. And wait until we get into the issue of dealing with a bootstripe, a decorative bootstripe border for the boat. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here in the boat shop. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. And I better get to work here. I got a lot of grinding 